The Israeli Prime Minister has taken to the international stage once again, this time to remind the world that Israel will basically do whatever it wants when it comes to settlement policy. Settlements, according to Benjamin Netanyahu, are not the real obstacle to peace in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The question of settlements, I think, is an issue that has to be uh, discussed in peace negotiations, but I disagree, and I've always disagreed, that this is the source of the conflict. Uh, you know, this, this conflict raged for 50 years, that's half a century, before there were any Jewish communities uh, in Judea Samaria. 50 years. PLO was founded in 1964, three years before the Six-Day War, before we entered uh, the territories of Judea, Samaria, and Gaza. We then left Gaza, and they fired 20,000 rockets on our heads uh, and continued to build terror tunnels. The Israeli leader delivered his comments to the annual Brookings Institution Saban Forum via video satellite. And his remarks have already received a stinging rebuke from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who claims that any settlement construction will block the path to Israeli-Palestinian peace. I, I just uh, very respectfully, and Bibi and I have had long arguments about this and long discussions about it, I, I don't agree with him that um, the settlements are not an obstacle to peace. Kerry believes a fundamental issue with expanding Israeli settlements in the West Bank is the effect it could have on establishing a permanent Palestinian state. So if Bibi says the settlements aren't the cause of this conflict, I agree. They're not the cause of it. But as I said to you earlier, folks, if you have a whole bunch of people who are specifically, strategically locating outposts and settlements in areas that make it impossible to have a contiguous Palestinian state, they're doing it for the specific purpose of not having a peace. That affects the peace. Settlement construction in the West Bank and East Jerusalem has almost fully halted since American President Barack Obama has been in power, since his administration has forcefully condemned any building over the Green Line. Now many right-wing politicians are hopeful that that will change under a Trump administration, but Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu says he's more concerned about getting the U.S. to reevaluate its support of the Iran nuclear deal. The Israeli Prime Minister says that Iran has become a more aggressive power since the agreement was signed, and that he looks forward to speaking with President-elect Donald Trump over the, quote, bad deal.